guys, this is a uh, this is a neck crank, and we're gonna start this from our knees. So uh, John goes for a takedown for a double leg. I want to make sure that I, I guide his head down so that his head doesn't crash into me, right? Stick this arm in here so that I can check his, his momentum. Stop his momentum right here. And then next thing I want to do is make sure that I get body to body contact on him pushing down. This is really important because if he comes into me and I'm up right like this, it's very easy for him to just tackle me. And if he has his arms wrapped around me, he can just lift me airborne. It's really important he comes in, check here check here, go off to the side, his arms are going to wrap around my legs, his arms are going to try to wrap around my legs, I want to sprawl out, make sure I get body to body contact on him, push down on him here, and watch my legs, my legs are going to come around, and hook, here, 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 alright, And then sit up from here. You see how his arms are trapped here. Next thing I want to do is I want to use my arms, go here, get a deep grip, and crank his head, forcing the tap. One more time. My knees. Go for a takedown. Guide him here. Use his hand. Check here. Check here check here, guide his head down, make body to body contact here, work around so that he can't wrap his arms around my legs, and then use this leg, and hook here, hook here, sit up, his arms are trapped here, go down the center, and get a deep grip, and then crank the neck. It's a neck crack, neck crack technique. Thank you for watching.